Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and today I got a Stitch Fix. Well, that's not true. I didn't get it today. I'm just now opening it. I had an extension that today is that day, but I'm not going to be able to take this to the post office today because it is a terrible day outside. It is storming and dark and just terrible, <laughs> terrible weather. Uh, and I have the phone because you know it always rings when I'm shooting videos and it did just as I was starting this when I stopped it and restarted uh, and it was Pinellas County where I live telling me that we're under a tornado watch and it is the third I got one from the National Weather Service I got a text from I think the county or the state I'm not sure and then I got um, the phone call from Pinellas County and they have you tell them that you got the warning so right now I should be in the bathroom or a closet I was sitting in the bathroom for a while but it actually seems to have settled down a little bit but we are still under a tornado watch for another 10 or 15 minutes I think so let's just get into the okay paperwork in hand now we can get started at it if you're not familiar with stitch fix each month with your box they will send you a styling card and then also an invoice for your items. Uh, my items total $313. If I were to buy all five, I would get a 25% discount, which would take off $78.25, bringing my total to $234.75 if I wanted to keep everything. So let's see what's in here. Okay, first item. Uh, oh, okay. I thought it was a t-shirt. I thought it was a navy blue t-shirt, but it's actually a t-shirt dress. Pretty cute. Navy blue. By Universal Standard, size M. Is that right? Yeah, it does look a little small. Let's see. Tessino t-shirt dress, navy 2X. It says $75. I don't know. Does that look like 2X? I guess we'll know when I try it on. I do like the feel of it. Um, it is not 100% cotton, but I do like the feel of it. Uh, cotton and elastane. Yeah, it's nice. Feels like high-end, kind of. All right, next is a top by Daniel Rain. And, okay, so it's got this lacy stuff on the top and in the front. And then, yeah, it's very fall colors. I think I have similar. I get a lot of Daniel Rain. Um, it is the Sammy B neck lace detail knit. It stops. Colors copper 2x, $58. Yeah. Definitely cute. We'll see how it looks on, and I'll have to figure out if I really need it. I'm trying to be very selective. Okay, so next is by Fun to Fun. Now this this is a gauzy feeling top and it just has a open sleeve yeah I can see through this quite a bit it uh, looks like what do they call them the, this type of I forget it's got buttons though I sort of say it's a Henley I don't know if that's correct or not uh, Kearney Henley top yes black in 2x $44 I don't think that's black that's navy blue with a very dark gray green and white yeah, that is, it may look black on the camera, but I'm telling you, it looks navy blue in person. So it feels soft. It also feels like, I don't know, something I would have worn to work. Oh, it's got quite a bit of detail, I didn't realize. But All right, so next, this is interesting. Now, I just saw, this is by Lola Getz. I just saw an internet ad for pants made like this with this, can you tell the texture on them? Yeah, you can right there. I just saw, yeah, and it's supposed to like cover cellulite or something like that. Lola gets active harbor textured high rise. It stops in red 2x, $72. They are just a little bright. I have not worn my pink ones that I got from Fabletics yet because of the color, I think. I'd rather black or navy or gray for my bottoms. But anyway, that's them. I will try them on though. And then last is something sweatery. Let's see what it is. It is by Markin and Spruce. Oh, it's a cardigan. Oh yeah, and the sleeves are a different fabric than the body. 
oh man, this is really soft and cozy. And you know what? I think it's lighter. I'm going to put one arm in and see. Yeah, it's looser arm too. I like that. Um, yeah, I don't think this would be too heavy. It, it has a heavy look, but it doesn't feel heavy. Yeah. I think it's cute. We've actually been having cooler weather, so that's nice. The only thing about printed cardigans is I typically wear a printed top with solid bottoms, and so I don't like a print on a print. So that's the only thing that has me thinking, I'm not sure. It is the only cotton textured, which would I'm sure be cardigan. It is off-white and black. Yeah, off-white's not my favorite, but okay. And a size 2X for $64, so it is a little bit spendy. I do have a little bit of credit left with um, Stitch Fix, and thank you to whoever has signed up under me. I appreciate that. Oh, and I do have the Style Pass, so I just pay once a year instead of paying uh, a styling styling charge with each box. So, all right. So I need to open some other boxes that are back there behind me. Can you see them? And then try these clothes on. There's, like I said, no way I'm returning these today. I'm not going out in that weather. <laughs> All right, see you soon. The dress would have to be a bigger size for me to keep it. I think it's cute. Yeah, I think it's cute. I prefer it was a couple inches longer. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if the dress itself is clingy or if all this is just because it's the wrong size. But yeah, I think it's too snug. But it is a cute dress and it feels very good and uh, yeah there's a lot I like about it I like the v-neck I like the short sleeves but yeah it's just I think I'd have to go up a size okay so the top um, okay so it has the Henley neck and then some buttons here that actually work and it just has an open sleeve something in here on this one is giving me a little bit of an itch. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, it's a nice conservative top like I might have worn to work or something. Uh, nothing really much to get excited about, I guess. Um, it's very long in the back. It covers your bum completely. A little bit shorter in the front. It is a nice airy fabric. But let's switch to the bottoms. I was very unsure of these pants <laughs> because of this waffly weave stuff. But uh, actually, they're very comfortable and the fit is pretty good. If anything, I would say that they're a little big. Uh, they don't have too much gap down here, a little bit. I do have them pulled up. They're high-waisted. so. Uh, but yeah, they stayed up pretty good when I sat down to fix the camera, change the camera battery there. But yeah, they're, I have to say, they're very comfy. Uh, in the summer, they probably be, might be a little hot because they're a little bit on the heavier side than like the Hue brand or something. But yeah, I don't, I haven't looked at the, in the back, in the, uh, in the bathroom. I didn't really take a very good look at them to see how they look overall. Other than, you know, I didn't, <clears throat> I had the blouse on, so I didn't like lift it up and look, so. <laughs> My bad, <laughs> but I'll do that as I'm changing into the next outfit. But yeah, I actually do kind of like these, but this color, I just don't know if this color is something I would uh, live with. <laughs> okay, so, so first I have on the cardigan. And yeah, I liked it better, I think, when I was just looking at it. It's very soft and very comfortable. It just looks a little for lack of a better word, and I, it's kind of a negative word, so I hate to use it, but it just looks a little slouchy. Uh, I think most of the time when I wear a cardigan, I'm going somewhere, so I like them to be just a little, uh, I don't want to say structured, because they're not really structured, but you know, they just look a little neater. This one is great, you know, like if you lived in a cooler climate, but when I wear one, it's because I'm going out to dinner or something, and this one is just doesn't quite fit it. You know what? It says, instead of slouchy, let me say too 
uh, casual. Yeah, it's very, very casual like to me. Yeah, but it's very cute. I like it. It's got this interesting top here. Um, and it does have sleeves. And it's very soft. I could totally, you know, see myself wearing it if I lived in a, in a uh, climate where I would get, you know, more use out of it. My shoes are squeaking in my, my feet are squeaking in my shoes there. <laughs> um, yeah. It's nice though. I really like it. All right. So next is the other top. It's cute. I mean, look at all this detail and all of this. It's uh, very similar to a couple other that I've received and the colors are just, mm, I'm not sure about the color of it. I do like it and it's very comfy. And it's, you know, definitely wearable. And it's not um, as clingy like sometimes these fabrics can be clingy. This one is not. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know about the fabric colors here. And those are my five items. I just okay, everyone, I am back with my box of decision <laughs> to figure out what is going to go back in this bag. Now, this is a big bag, maybe because there was a cardigan in there, although there wasn't a huge cardigan. Uh, what's going back to Dallas, Texas in that box, and what is going to go on the hanger and live in Florida? Let's see. i got my list here in case I have to question myself about anything. All right, so the first item on top of the box are the red leggings. I did like the red leggings as far as comfort and fit. Uh, definitely like them. However, this color red, I did not care for. And I just would be a little self-conscious putting my big thighs in something bright red. So it is going to be, they are going to be the first item to go in the bag. First item in the bag. Yeah, if they'd have sent them in like black, I probably would have kept them. I, yeah, probably would have. They're a little heavy, but you know, it's all right. Um, next item is this top, which, uh, oh, well, let me say the red leggings. Those are probably the item I ended up liking most out of the box, just the color. Same with this. This is a cute top, very cute but I'm just not fond of the color. I guess I could wear it with black jeans or something. How much was this again? This is uh, Daniel Rain. Yeah, this is $58. And I think I'm afraid that I would spend $58 and then not pull for it because I didn't. Every time I went to pull for it, I said, nah, I don't like that color. So I am going to send it back. Yes. Um, You'll find, or I'll find probably, if I look at my fall and winter boxes, I probably are not as successful with those because they tend to have fall colors, jewel tones, things I don't wear as well. I'm definitely a spring kind of color person. And plus they tend to have things that are a little heavier than what I need in Florida. So, you know, no, no shade to Stitch Fix or the manufacturers. They're just, they don't fit in my lifestyle as much and the colors are not. Uh, this is not my season. That's all I can say. All right, so next is the cardigan, which I like the feel of it very much. Very comfy. If I still lived in a cooler climate, I would probably keep this item. But because when I do pull for a cardigan, I'm usually going somewhere where it's not quite so casual, you know, to a restaurant, to an event or something. Uh, I just see this as definitely jeans and a turtleneck kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's very cozy. I like it, but for, uh, how much was this? Yeah, for $64, I don't think I'd get a lot of wear out of it. So I'm gonna put it in the bag. Okay, my hanger's getting a little, little anxious. Let's see if we have something to put on it. All right, so next is the blouse. Uh, who's this one by? Yeah, fun to fun. Uh, yeah, this is a $44 blouse. Yeah, I just don't think I have a lot of occasion to wear this anymore now that I'm not working. Yeah, I guess you could wear it with jeans and stuff on a cooler day. But, you know, really, I haven't been going anywhere. So, really, I've just been wearing, you know, leggings and such around the house. 
Yeah, and I think the print's a little big. I think that can age me a little. So, yeah, I'm going to send this one back. I do think it's a nice top if you're, if you need a somewhere between a, a casual professional look, you know, not full out professional, you know, <laughs> but uh, business casual. It would be cute with jeans on jean day, or you could pull it off with some navy trousers, I'm sure. Um, it put a blazer over it and then it would definitely look nice. But anyway, it's a, it's a going back. <laughs> Just, I just don't need that right now. And then the very last item is the dress. Which, going in, I thought the cardigan was my favorite item. But at the end of it... Oh, delivery. <laughs> at the end of it is, I think, my favorite are the pants and this dress. I really like this dress. I like the way it feels and everything. But it isn't my size. And I thought it was cute on, even though... It didn't really fit right, so I can imagine if it did fit right, it might be super cute. So, yeah, I like navy. So, anyway, so it's going back as well, which means that my hanger is going to remain bare. Thank you, Stitch Fix. I did like the items you sent, even though they didn't work for me. <laughs> But anyway, I will uh, put a link below. I don't think I've ever shared this, that I used to put a link below in case you want to sign up f to try the service. And um, just full disclosure, if you do, I usually get a credit. They usually have something going on where they have giving a credit to me and to you. But always look at, you know, read it if you sign up for it just to see what it is, if you're getting a credit or not getting a credit or whatever. Uh, just so you know, because the, the programs change on these on these style boxes and that's why I see a lot of people will say oh get a $50 credit or whatever and I think yeah but by the time someone comes across this video they may not be offering the $50 credit so I just wanted to throw that out there <laughs> I don't want to make any promises stitch fix won't keep so anyway but I will put the link there for your convenience thanks for watching my videos I do hope you'll like this video and subscribe to the channel enjoyed having you here Merry Christmas I think Hanukkah might be over, but it could be the last day, so happy Hanukkah. Um, Diwali, Kwanzaa, I know there's more, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. <laughs> See ya.